people have been uh, working on pulsing just the uh, the main power coming into the uh, dual thief and we've got that pulsing now at uh, roughly 20 hertz now uh, if you used to see this on the uh, the scope so we'll turn the intensity down a bit and that's as good as we're getting it so you'll be able to see that uh, we've got the uh, the dual thief on during this period now if I turn the frequency up and put the DC offset down and then increase the time base you can see there you've got a definite this is where the uh, dual thief is on then it's off and then on again but so uh, we've got a nice little uh, ring out from the coil there as well if I can increase that you can see it's, uh, it's ringing out you could use that to uh, go back to a secondary uh, battery now uh, at 60 hertz you can uh, see that it looks okay but if we turn it up to about I think it's about 120 I was liking so it's very bright there so you can see a little flicker in the, uh, the camera but to the naked eye you can't so if we put that all the way up to about 250 I'll put it on 220 so I don't have to change the uh, the range. You're getting no flicker whatsoever now. And if I turn the time base up again, so you can see we're still getting the same amount of off time, even though we've increased the frequency. Now uh, we can use, if I just flick my range down and then put the range up again, uh, you can use the symmetry. Uh, which is your uh, uh, duty cycle of it to you can either go one way on the duty cycle or the other way on the duty cycle and uh, you can do that to uh, increase the brightness as you'll see here or dim it and I'll increase it but if you put it halfway That's where we're uh, we're getting the uh, the most amount out. About there. Now, uh, what I want to be looking at now is uh, inside when when it's on. If I turn the time base up lots more, you can see actually what's happening inside the dual thief. It's going up, down, up, down, almost a sine wave. But uh, I'm interested in this frequency now because uh, I want this to start running at uh, 1.5 megahertz because the actual waveform gets larger then, which means we get more energy out. So uh, I'm going to look into doing that now. So uh, I need two 555 timer circuits, one pulsing the main power in, and then the second one pulsing the coil. Uh, instead of having it just oscillating itself on this coil, the, uh, we can force the transistor to uh, oscillate at 1.5 megahertz and then test it to see uh, if we use more or less uh, energy out. Now I'm going to do that by uh, charging up a uh, super cap to uh, about 5 volts and then uh, discharging this through it as a test and then uh, time how long it takes and then I've got my uh, CMOS 555 timer there which is a, a TL555C and now uh, when we pulse it out of that hopefully we should get uh, a larger run time per amount of uh, uh, I think it's coulons is it? out of the uh, capacitor that's great then and uh, thanks for watching